And now to join us to really give you an appetite, our regular zoologist is going to come on oh, set. No. And he's brought with him his phalanger. You know what his phalanger is? That's what to think. A phalanger <laughs> is a possum, which I believe is delicious under nice honey sauce. Yeah. Please welcome Dr. David Smith. You know, there'd be so many people watching our show today who would be annoyed by possums, would hear possums, would know they've got possums, but haven't actually seen a possum. Oh. And, and I've got, got a match them. set of peregrinuses oh. here for you. Oh. Peregrinuses. Pseudochirus peregrinuses, they're yeah. called. That's their native <laughs> name. That's their native obviously. name, yeah. How common, old are they? Common ringtail possums. This is, they're a pair of twins, mm -hmm. three and a half years old. Ah. And they were orphaned. They were found. Uh, their mother had been killed by the roadside. They were taken to the Hillsville Sanctuary as young orphans, and uh, they've been raised ever since. They're, they're protected, aren't they? Certainly, right around yes, Australia. They certainly are. All mm. native mammals are protected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When did that come in? Let Irvin? me get them out. Yeah. Okay. Ah, here we go. Little sausage. You'll mm. see immediately the beautiful long ring tail. Yeah. With its white tip, and there we go. And they can actually hang by that. Mm. Mm. There you go. She may not do it. One of them is called Penny, and one's called Pippa. Yes, and I have to see the tails to work out which one's which. <laughs> Penny's got a brown spot on her tail. Come on, kids. Well, that, that one had a brown spot on its tail. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Okay, How's the pastor? The pastor's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hand? Where's Go Jonathan yeah, gone? Yes. Come back here, here Colvin. From way back. Immediate. <laughs> Come back here and be part of the show. I'm sorry. Come, Come on, Jonathan. Stuff. Or Would you like to hold one, Donna? Lovely. Just be very yeah, careful very because soft. don't let him get away. Come on, Here we go. Don't let him near the food. Come on. Oh, no, he's a little bit feisty. I think he just wants to get back into my jumper. Right, what about, about the other one? Where's the... Oh, Robin's got yeah, the other one. Got the other one. <laughs> Can I have a nurse or perhaps not, eh? Sure, here you go. There you go. Just around. Just, yeah. Take the weight. There you are. Oh, oh very, very oh, sharp. Oh, don't squeeze too hard. No. Uh, well, would you tell him that the, the, the same rule applies? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's very fast. Here you go. Let I go. Like, just let I wouldn't go. hurt him. You got let him? Go. I've got him. I wouldn't like to hurt him. Here you go. I can't. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's great. Oh, right. Yeah. Good afternoon, yeah. Doctor. I was uh, nursing this possum. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a bit of a worry, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of people see them as pests, David. Well, they are. I mean, they, they basically, uh, around uh, suburbia, they've adapted incredibly well to suburban life in Australia. And they thrive on things like lemons, uh, roses, apricots, fruits, all sorts of things like that. And so if you've got a beautiful set of roses just coming into bloom, and you go out in the morning and these little guys have nipped the buds off, mm -hmm. they're not going to be too popular. Oh, you guys. What family they are they from? Well, they're from the possum family, the, the whole group of possums and gliders yeah. uh, that have uh, obviously Australian native mammals not found anywhere else in the world. Nowhere else? Nowhere else in the world, and especially these ones. And I think mm. these two, this... this um, the ringtail group, there are about six different sorts of ringtails up the coast, but yep. these are the most common ones. And the brush tail possums are just subur suburbanites extraordinaire. I live in an area where there are uh, seemingly thousands of, of possums, <laughs> and I, I know it's a, it's a very naive mm -hmm. question, but, and I understand they're nocturnals, but where do they actually hide during the day? Because you never see them at all. Well, they have little nests. They build uh, oh, four, five, maybe six or seven nests called drays, mm -hmm. D-R-E-Ys, and they're just sort of... Uh, pretty stuck together clumps of twigs and sticks and things. They carry bark, strips of bark in this wonderful tail, which makes almost like a fifth hand. Yep. And they just string it together, make a big nest. It's about, I can't really do it while nursing Penny, but it's about that big. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down, miss. There you go. And they hide in those during the day and come out in the early part of the night to feed. They can make a hell of a noise, can't they, if they get into they your should, house and yes, then can't yeah. get out. That's I suppose right. that's the system they use now, is it? Well, they're but very adept at getting in through tiny cracks in the roof. If you've got any sort of um, spouting missing and things like that, they'll nip in under the roof and uh, fairly rap. Would you sit still, Well, please? at three and a half years of age, uh, I mean, how much bigger will they... Oh, yeah. this is about full size for a ringtail possum. Right. Yeah. What are the big this ones, then? They're brush tails, mm -hmm. and they haven't got this big, long white striped tail. They've got a, a big fluffy, like a fox almost. What's their lifespan? They probably live to, uh, what do you reckon, Robin, about eight or nine? Mm, something like something that. Something like that, like that yeah. Mm. Oh, they have got sharp Isn't claws. Intriguing. They're the same age, and yet animals, just like human beings, they, they really have their own personalities, don't they? One is very relaxed, yes. mm. and oh, the yes. other is just going crazy. Whenever you handle animals like these, you learn to just take some time to get to know them first, and you mm -hmm. work out whether they're feisty ones or relaxed ones, mm. <laughs> whatever. Would they be blinded by the light? Because they they're probably nocturnal. don't oh, yeah. like the light too much. We it, just it drop the light a little bit for the possum. Just bring the light down. Just a little bit. Make it sort of. Make it sort of. Some stars, please. 
please, yeah. Actually, That'd it's much nice. more pleasant anyway, so that's yeah. quite lovely. Yeah. Just a little bit of pasta and yeah. possum and... Where's the wine? Yeah, where's <laughs> the wine? The wine, the wine, we're just having it decanted. Oh, good. Mm. Great to see you again, David, and particularly to uh, always meet uh, your friends. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Bert. It's they're... nice to be here during the, uh, and as the I say, gathering. For, for a lot of people, it would be very interesting for them to see a possum maybe for the, the first time. David Smith, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dr David Smith.